Hello YouTube. Okay, <clears throat> we've got four columns here. We've got a column on the left uh, entitled Thinker and we've got a column on the right uh, entitled Intelligent. Now, I'd just like to discuss something with you. Now, uh, we've got a group of words in the middle and I'm going to gradually work my way through this and move the appropriate words to uh, the appropriate sides. So, uh, obviously thinker, if you're a thinker, you're constantly uh, thinking all the time. So we'll move uh, think over to the thinker column. Now, if you're intelligent, uh, you tend to know much more. So we'll move the know or knowledge uh, word over to below the intelligent column. Uh, now differentiation between uh, thinking and knowledge um, for instance uh, when you're learning to do something uh, you obviously to begin with you have to think about it don't you but once you know what you're doing uh, you don't have to think about it any longer it actually becomes second nature so uh, basically uh, the more you know the less you think so uh, the thinker who's constantly thinking as they go about their daily life let's say and they're being faced with uh, situations uh, just like uh, the intelligent individual in the right hand column um, as we all face different situations every day don't we um, the thinker uh, in his thinking he will look at situations that he's facing and he'll make decisions or she will make decisions in a um, in a way which actually suits them personally uh, they will do uh, what they consider is right for them whereas for me an intelligent individual who is knowledgeable he or she will face uh, a situation in their daily life and in their way of facing it uh, they will uh, be more honest about things and rather than doing what suits them personally what they think is the right thing to do they will react in an impersonal manner they will uh, be rather rather than do what they think is the right thing to do they will actually do what they know in the depths of their own knowledge is the right thing to do now Obviously the thinker who's constantly thinking and behaving in a manner which suits them personally uh, they are what we would call selfish. They're doing what suits their self, their, their mind, their previous conditioning let's say. Um, uh, whereas the intelligent individual who knows um, uh, much more and is constantly thinking much less and who's um, reacting in an impersonal manner, they are uh, unselfish. They're doing uh, what they know is the right thing to do as opposed to what suits them personally. Now, the thinker who is constantly thinking and who is reacting to situations in a personal manner and who is selfish because they're doing what is right for them and no one else uh, you could actually say that in the most they are actually unloving uh, which obviously shows in the way when people are constantly are doing what suits them personally when you have a group of people uh, who behave in that manner obviously you end up with a situation with a lot of conflict a lot of upset uh, and a lot of unhappiness whereas an intelligent individual who knows um, quite a lot and who reacts to uh, things impersonally uh, who behaves in an unselfish manner he's uh, or she is uh, they're giving uh, much more to those around them uh, they're being true to the situation and as such because they're giving rather than taking all the time you could say uh, that uh, they're actually uh, loving aren't they 
they're far more loving than the the thinker who's constantly thinking and behaving in a personal, selfish and unloving manner. Now, uh, the thing that allows the, the position on the left to continue is dishonesty. Because rather than uh, doing what the thinker knows is the right thing to do in the depths of their own uh, knowledge, they prefer to be dishonest and uh, continue in the manner they are doing, obviously spreading uh, unhappiness and discontent around themselves because they constantly behave in a, in a manner which is only right for them. So, uh, uh, as I say, dishonesty holds up the column on the left, whereas uh, the intelligent column on the right-hand side, uh, in which the individual is far more uh, knowledgeable less of a thinker, uh, much more impersonal, far more unselfish and more loving, that column is held up by honesty, by being honest. So, uh, which one are you? Are you uh, a thinker or are you intelligent? Let me know. Bye-bye.